Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from DB Maestro. My name is Praveen and today we are going to talk about database source control applications architecture. So without any ado, let's jump right into it. So there are a few main terms that you need to understand before looking into the architecture. The first one is Git repo projects and the Git repo DB. So the Git repository project is the main repository that holds all the project configurations, your user informations, and also your configurations for the database. All the informations are stored here. And also this is the Git repo link that all the users will be using to log in to their source control application. Now, each project that you create in a source control application can have multiple database in it, but you need to make sure that each database has their own Git repository. So let's say, for example, the project has two databases, DB1 and DB2. Each of these databases will have their own Git repository. Let's look at the architecture diagram so that the points that I shared are more clear. So as I mentioned in the main points, you have Git repo projects that stores all the project configurations and also the user configurations in this case is workstation 1 and workstation 2. You have separate Git repos for each database that you have in your project. And each workstation will have the local repositories and DBM source control client which will perform the commit and update to the repositories whenever needed. We saw the basic architecture diagram. Now let's look at the different project configuration types provided by DB Maestro. So there are two types of projects that you can create in your source control application. One is sandbox and the other one is shared project. So the difference between the two is in sandbox project, each user will have their own sandbox database, while in a shared project, a single physical database is shared by all the users. So when a user is creating a sandbox project, they need to have the following. The logical name, that is the alias name, the git repo link to that database and the physical database that it connects to. Please watch our how to create a project video to understand more about alias name and how to add a physical database to a project. And also watch adding users to a project video to understand more about how to add a new user to an existing project. So this is an architecture diagram of a sandbox configuration. So you have a Git repo projects where all the project information, user names and the database informations are stored. And you also have the Git repos of each database that connect to the workstation. As you can see, since it's a sandbox project, each user will have their own physical database. Now let's move to the shared configuration. So as I mentioned before, in sandbox project, each user will have their own sandbox database. But in a shared configuration, all the users will be using a same physical sandbox database. So creating a shared project, the user will require the same things that need, was needed for the sandbox project. That is the alias name, the Git repo link, and the physical database that the user wants to connect to. Again, please check the how to create a project video to understand more about this. Since all the users will be working on a single physical database, the full functionality is not provided in this configuration. And also you would notice that the commit and push commands instead of being two steps are combined into one. An architecture diagram for a shared project is similar to a sandbox project. As you can see, there's a Git projects repository that holds the project information. There's a database repository and you have workstations, but the only difference is all the workstations share a single physical database. If you would like to see a demo for our source control tool or the CICD tool for databases, feel free to contact us. I hope the video was helpful. Thank you so much.